أفضل الذكر لا إله إلا الله وأفضل الدعاء الحمد لله رواه تنذي وحسن هو الباني Benefits extracted The best form of dhikr is saying La ilaha illallah Just as it comes in another hadith The best dua is a dua on the day of Arafah And the best dua Is what I and the prophets said before me La ilaha illallah Without any partners يعني أفضل دعاء دعاء يوم Arafah وأفضل ما قلت أنا والنبيون من قبلي لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له There's a similar dua or hadith in which the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, خير الدعاء, the best of dua. This hadith says, أفضل دعاء. And this one, the second one, خير الدعاء. دعاء يوم عرفة. وخير ما قلت أنا والنبيون من قبلي لا إله إلا الله. If you notice, you take a look at this hadith. أفضل دعاء. دعاء, supplication, نعم. دعاء of day of judgment. وأفضل ما قلت أنا والنبيون. La ilaha illallah. Is la ilaha illallah a dua? La ilaha illallah. Is that a dua? Ahsant. MashaAllah. Scholars say that la ilaha illallah is considered to be a dua. Why is that? Because dua is broken down into two categories. You have dua al-mas'ala and dua al-ibadah. Dua al-mas'ala this is yani, when you're explicitly asking Allah for something. This is a dua bi lisan al maqal. For example, you say, Ya Rabbi, urzuqni, Ya Rabbi, afini, Ya Rabbi, aghnini, Ya Rabbi, ighfirli. When you're asking Allah to provide for you, oh Allah, provide for me, oh Allah, grant me well being, oh Allah, um, forgive me, oh Allah, have mercy on me, you're explicitly asking Allah for something. This is dua al mas'ala. And then dua, there's another form of dua, which is dua al-ibadah. This is يعني, a dua bi nisan al-hal. When you perform an act of worship like salah, like reciting the Quran, like fasting, why are you performing these acts of worship, ikhwan al-akhawat? You're performing these acts of worship because you're asking and seeking Allah's mercy and bounty through your actions. I'm fasting so that Allah can forgive me. This is a form of dua. This is dua ibadah طيب. And evidence for this can be found in the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ If my servants ask you about me, then tell them I am near. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دعان. I respond to the supplication of the one who supplicates when he invokes me. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say immediately after that? After saying that he responds to the dua of the one who calls upon him, he says, then let them respond to me and believe in me. Let them respond to me by, what does that mean? And believe in me. By performing that which I have commanded. Yani to perform ibadah, huh? dua al-ibadah. Let them respond to me by worshiping me, performing salah. And singling him out alone for worship. This is a dua. Wal yu'minu bi and have iman in me. And we know iman is bis statements, right? Bil qawli. Wal amal. Wal i'tiqad. Naam. These are actions. So here is evidence to show that dua al ibadah is a form of dua. Is a form of dua. Also, the statement of Allah, wa qala rabbukum ud'uni astajib lakum. And your Lord says, call upon me and I will respond to you. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ عَنِشْ عَنْ عِبَادَتِي سَيَدَخُلُونَ جَهَنَّمَ دَاخِلِينَ Certainly those who are arrogant and turn away from my worship. SubhanAllah. Allah says, call upon me and I'll respond to you. Those who are too arrogant to worship me by performing salah, by calling upon him. These are actions. Naam. What will happen? They will enter Jahannam. SubhanAllah. Disgrace. Dakhirin. Naam. So this shows that dua al-ibadah, when you perform acts of worship, this is a form of dua. You're asking Allah for his mercy, for his bounties, through your physical actions. So la ilaha illallah, although you're not explicitly asking for something, you are implying that you're asking Allah for his mercy through making that statement. It is a form of worship seeking Allah's mercy 
seeking his closeness, seeking his bounties in this life and the next. Now, also, um, some scholars, they say that when you say la ilaha illallah or any form of dhikr, then you're acknowledging, you're recognizing, you're affirming these perfect and complete attributes of Allah. And because Allah is perfect and he's complete and he owns everything in the heavens and earth, you're recognizing that, oh Allah, I'm in need of, those, of your bounty. I'm in need of your ge generosity. Right? So these are a few um, points as it relates to la ilaha illallah being a form of dua.